I'm so ready for this. What time of day is it? 10.48. One more time. Okay, I'm gonna look up daytime owl spawns. I know there is definitely one fixed location. Need to get owl feathers to make the improved tomahawk part of the survivalist challenge that I'm working on. Okay, show me where you're at on your map, please. Also, this is online, but it may not make a difference. Okay, we've got one in tall trees near Aurora Basin where most of the nighttime owls are anyway. And then... Wow, this person really wants you to know exactly where they're at. Which I guess is better than the alternative of you know, not giving too specific of details on where you're at. Okay, but the next one. Where's the next one? It's near Hanging Dog Ranch. Pretty noticeable bend in the Little Creek River. One consistently spawns at Emerald Ranch at night, though. That's not exactly what I want. You know what, I'm just going to head towards uh, the Little Creek Ranch spawn, or the Little Creek River spawn, and see what I get. just like a terrible time of day to get this and of course uh, the challenge itself oh okay actually volatile dynamite volatile fire bottle okay you know what let me pull over really quick see if I can craft any of this presently Okay, craft. This challenge is so easy compared to some of the other ones. Okay, wait though. It wanted volatile dynamite. Volatile, is that under weapons? So missing animal fat. Just shoot a duck for that, I guess. And then moonshine and animal fat. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. And then I... What's the improved tomahawk? Is it a hawk feather? Okay, 
I need two animal fats. Hawk feathers and owl feathers. Really not too bad. Ducks. Actually, I'll probably find some here. Or I could kill boars, I guess. There are boars in this area as well. I don't know what's going on. Ducks. That one's probably not going to be retrievable because John can't swim. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This one's close enough. This one's close enough, right? Grab it. I'm stopping at Moonshine at Emerald Ranch, and then should just see a hawk somewhere about. Those really aren't too hard to find. Okay, I was gonna say if that doesn't give me animal fat, we're gonna have problems. But we do. We got it. I'll stop at Emerald Ranch to pay my bounty since I also found out that they will just kill you for five dollars. So kind. Okay, I need to be on the lookout for a hawk. What's going on here? Ah! I'm falling, that's what's going on. Okay, boy. You good? You know I love you. No hawks yet. Let's pay this bounty. I don't want any trouble. I don't want anybody to shoot my horse again. Ready for a clean slate? Yeah, I'm definitely ready for a clean slate. Wrong, well, I don't know about that, but take care now. All right. Oh, I'm gonna go pick up some moonshine here. Well, well. Then I guess I'm just gonna do okay? a slow scenic ride over to 
big valley, see if I get any hawks. Hopefully get some some owls this evening. Hey vodka, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Go on, have yourself a quick nose Hi. TX, aren't you still streaming, dude? <laughs> Howdy. Best to have a strong stomach. Pick up a couple of moonshines, might as well. Oh, another? Of course. <laughs> He's always doing that. He always be streaming and chatting. It's actually impressive. I don't know how you stay speed running, chatting, reading your chat. I don't yeah, I don't know how you do it, man. It's pretty pretty impressive. Just the fact that you all can speed run and read the chat. I can't even like ride the horse and read the chat. I constantly wreck. Okay, I'm gonna go over here, look for the owl, but I also need to look for hawks. I'm so close to being done with the next survivalist challenge, and it's really not even that hard of one. It's just a matter of finding the right materials. So that's what I'm working on right now. No My secret is I can't read. <laughs> Do you have like an earbud in, like reading you the reading you the chat messages? That would be like an insane secret. <laughs> I see the length of squiggles and put words in Chatter's mouth. Hey man, it seems to be working. Keep it up. Just inventing this lengthy narrative for each one of your chatters. <laughs> that would kind of be so funny if you just ignored everything that everybody was writing and just made up chat messages for them. Responded to them. Hawks, hawks, hawks. <laughs> I I mean I can see that being a pretty funny bit. Kinda like the whole speaking in simlish thing. <laughs> I don't know, maybe people would go along with it? I don't know. Gorna Fanala? What he do? <laughs> that cracks me up. That is actually a pretty funny idea. really need a hawk. Maybe I should look at the at the thing with my handy dandy magnifying glass. I really feel like Steve from Blue's Clues. Somebody call me Sherlock Holmes. I think it was Joe. I mean the the hawk spawns are actually pretty sparse out here. I might be finding this owl before I find a hawk.
That looks like a raven. He's a good boy. Good lad. There's a boy. Good horse. You're a good boy. Ooh, maybe up here at the waterfall. I feel like I've seen some around here before. What's that? What's that? That's too small. There's no way. Also need to be careful not to shoot them over the water since John can't swim. I do feel like I've seen one around here before. Not seeing one now, I guess. Suppose that's what. Oh, oh. You can always head down to. Oh, I don't know what I just trampled. You can always head down to New Austin, though. You okay? They are much more plentiful and abundant down there. Distracted looking at all the fauna. I'm so happy to be playing Red Dead. It's been a weird day. A long, kind of a long day. Was a Red Dead Online spawn? This one. I probably mistakenly made the assumption that it may be the same in the story mode, which, you know, it just isn't always the case. Uh, if I head towards perhaps Owangila, a little north of Owangila, there may be some hawks. Gosh, I feel so ridiculous with my little magnifying glass. I feel so old. Just continue along the way here. Uh, it's already 4.30, so we're headed in the right direction to get some owls near Aurora Basin when night falls. Gonna need to get off the road here in a second. I'm not trying to engage with that gang hideout right now. It may still be cleared actually. I've gone up there so many times and fought with them Laramie boys. It may actually just be cleared. I don't know if anyone heard that, but maybe it was just an elk call. I heard a very strange noise. It didn't sound like that second elk call. That was weird. I can't really say that I've heard that noise. I don't know, this game is still full of surprises, which I love. 
I had my first ghost train interaction like last week offline unfortunately but I did upload a video on my YouTube of it which I I, I knew about it I'd heard about it I'd probably even seen video of it at some point but it was still very cool to experience on my own for the first time game continues to deliver new experiences after thousands of hours. And I love it. Got any hawks? This is also kind of cougar territory. <laughs> I got mauled in a very scary way the other day. Right around here. And yeah, I wasn't paying a lick of attention made no noises it got me out of nowhere hey. I think Joe clipped it it was it's kind of a disaster and then immediately after like he s he put the clip in the chat and then you know being the vain creature that I am I clicked on the clip to watch it and then it killed me again immediately afterwards when I was watching the clip. I deserved that, so. I wasn't as shocked or as mad the second time. You okay? Uh. There we go. Good shit. Let me go ahead. Uh. Oh, there it is. No, don't fall. Hey, Amsel, how are you doing? Gonna go ahead and craft these three items before I head down to Aurora Basin for the owls. I am gonna have to kill an owl, Mr. Vodka Owl. I apologize in advance. Eating ice cream? What kind of ice cream? Yeah, maybe don't look. I don't know, man. I have to, though. There's no way around it. Absolutely none. Okay, I need to craft. I need to make the volatile. Wait. What am I missing? Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to use one. Right? Yeah. Okay, let's just make dynamite go boom for no reason. Might as well, right? Pretty. Okay. Now I can sit down and craft it. Netflix and chilled. Okay, that one is good. My favorite is still the Tonight Dough, though. It is... God, it's just so delicious. I don't like Jimmy Fallon. But god damn, I love his ice cream. I wonder how that situation goes. Like, the celebrity endorsed ones. Do you think they, like, actually prepare, like, different types and are like, okay, here, here are three different ice creams. Like, you pick which one you want to put your, your name on. Or are they, like, actively involved in the creative process? I have no idea. I do wonder how that goes, though. I need to create the fire bottle... I like mint chocolate chip. I actually like plain mint better though, and I like it as a shake. My f my all-time favorite flavor though is pistachio ice cream, but I am particular about what like brand it is. I don't know, like certain certain textures of ice cream I really don't like. Uh, like for example, I actually don't like Ben and Jerry's pistachio ice cream. I really like the Haagen Dazs ice cream, the pistachio ice cream though. Hey Matrix, thanks for the follow. Well, I know in 
<laughs> oh, when Paltrow gets her flavor? Fuck, man. Fuck. Okay, I need to do the the tomahawk, the improved tomahawk. Oh, I'm carrying I'm carrying one again. So I guess I just need to drop it. Uh, here we go. Just maybe into the tree. Nice. Uh, and then more crafting. And then... The improved tomahawk. Then I need to get the owl feather for the homing tomahawk. And then I will be done with this one. I think. I hope. Or actually, there might be another round of stuff that I have to make for this one. So, uh, of these four, I'm only missing the homing tomahawk. I have a feeling there's another set of things that I'm going to have to make for... Because this is, what, survivalist eight? This is just way too easy. Again, it's just a matter of collecting the right materials. Just, yeah. I'm suspicious. Based on how, like, sharpshooter and everything went last week, I'm suspicious. Okay, Aurora Basin. That's where I'm headed next. Let's go. Let's go. Should be a pretty high concentration of owls there. Out of all... I mean, really all in this area. And I think the, the actual spawn time is 10 p.m. So, uh, dark is about to fall. But I actually have a an hour or two before they're they're gonna be out. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't mean to point my gun at him. I kind of was trying to point it at the elk because I just, you know, saw the outline really briefly and I thought it might be a grizzly bear. So I was just trying to double check. Oops. Big Valley, yeah, I love this place. It is one of my favorite places to camp online. I almost ran over that guy's dog. <laughs> it felt really bad. I definitely brushed up against it because I, I got the feedback on my controller. Yikes. I'd rather kill him than the dog. Oh dear, it's dark. Do I still have that mining hat? No, it's not on my horse, of course. Wait, no. Weapons, it's here. Stay on the road. <laughs> John is so rude to people. Just in passing. It's kind of amusing though. I don't remember Arthur ever passing anybody and just being like, out of the damn way! Absolutely not. But 
also, that might have something to do with my incredibly low honor. I wonder if his response is different when you're an honorable cowboy. I actually don't know. I think I've been pretty much dishonorable the entire time I've been John this playthrough because I've been doing these challenges. Uh, okay, we're coming up on owl spawn time. I'm gonna put the... I was reading the other challenges for, was it the weapons expert? Some of them actually sound really fun. I think it culminates in a challenge where you have to kill a grizzly bear without dying with only throwing knives, which is going to be so intense, but will actually probably be some great content. Because, yeah, it's... Okay, it was a... It was a black bear, not a grizzly bear thing. Because, yeah, that's just going to be hilarious, watching me try to kill a, a grizzly bear with only throwing knives without dying. I, I'm going to die so many times. I guess I, perhaps you're supposed to use poison ones, but I don't know. I didn't really look into it. I just kind of read the challenges. Okay, now we got wolves. Where are they? Are they nearby? It's a hawk. I'll still- I'd still like to kill it though. Well. It's no such luck. Good thing it wasn't an owl, or else I probably would've been a little more upset. Fun fact, grizzly bears hate being stabbed! <laughs> Thank you, Amsel, for the fun fact! <laughs> that zoo knowledge coming in handy. I never would've guessed. Perhaps I would have. I really like that legendary bear scene at the beginning of the game, though, where you're Arthur and, you know, grizzly bears on top of you, and yeah, you have to stab it. You almost die, and then you have that big shredded claw mark in the back of your jacket. I wish that, like, claw mark stayed on your jacket the entire game, because it's kind of badass. It's like, oh yeah, I just... Had a brush with a grizzly bear. No big deal. What's going on over here? I kind of don't like it. I'm kind of scared. Where are the owls? I haven't seen an owl yet. I saw a hawk. It's not a clan meeting, is it? What is it? Is it Burning Man? What? It looks like they have like an effigy in the middle. Do you see that? Or am I tripping? Blow it. Oh, I guess it's just a uh, cooking. Cooking pot. Who are these people, though? Why are they already highlighted as enemies? Are they just Laramie boys? Is this a gang hideout? I guess I'll engage. I guess that is the move. They look like trappers. Look, they're already marked as enemies, though. Skinner Brothers. Okay, yeah, so it's a gang. It's a gang hideout. Oh, you know what? If I could get them mounted, that would be great. Because then I could do part of the weapons expert challenge. Okay, they're not going to mount. I guess I scared their horses away. Okay, shit. I'm going to take something here. Hmm. Oh my god, do they have a Maxim gun? Or a sniper? Something got me and landed pretty significant damage. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh. 
really. kidding that was weird I don't remember this hideout but oh no okay it's one o'clock in the morning I need to hurry before I lose these owl spawns well I guess I could also just camp waste some time yeah I can't say that I remember this but I don't know how often I was coming over in Aurora Basin during my first playthrough, though. Probably not much, if at all. cooking. Nothing I can eat. Two twenty six AM Passing of time in this game is fucked. looting everything like I'm still poor. What the heck and heck happened here? Oh no. Oh. 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 Why? Christ. Ugh. Were they, like, were they gonna eat him? Ugh. <laughs> Point of view, you're celebrating Monday night with the boys. <laughs> I'm gonna skip that celebration. Holy shit. I don't even need an invite. What the fuck? Oh my god. One more time. Okay, boy. come on, pony. Let's go. We still have to get some owls. What is that? Ignore the mail you're about to get. <laughs> I'm getting a snail mail invite to uh, Monday Night with the Boys. Holy shit. Um, owl. I mean, really, they're all through here, it looks like. All kind of along the lower Montana River. But they're so concentrated around Aurora Basin, it's almost hard to believe that I haven't seen one. Odd. Very odd. But yeah, also, what's this? Uh, well. Oh, they're... 
Oh, it is a site for inspection. He's so much worse at drawing than Arthur. It's almost disappointing when I'm John and I go to sketch something. It's like, good, well, good try, John. Not that I can personally draw, <laughs> but you know, you get so used to seeing Arthur make all these beautiful, elaborate drawings. And then, yeah, you just have John making stick figures, basically, which, you know, is still probably better than I could do. I can't draw for shit. My handwriting is even terrible. What's in here? No, day is breaking. Well, at least I have another uh, marked place on the map, right? Oh no, it doesn't even add a label. I like when you explore somewhere and it adds a label like that. Uh, well, it looks like it's a uh, daybreak. Basically. Uh, what's owl spawn time? I might just sleep for like damn near 24 hours. There is a day spawn at the Z in West Elizabeth. Perhaps I'll head there. Because uh, I do only need one, to my knowledge. It is unfortunate I didn't see one over here. It doesn't have an exact time listed on the wiki either. One of the other sites I was looking at earlier said 10 p.m. was when they start, but it doesn't really seem to say. I guess just as soon as dawn breaks. I want to go back in time and give Marston an AK. Man, the way that I play this surly criminal that I've got, I could use it. Bummer. Good boy. That's a raven. Okay, I've got uh wolves coming up. Already chasing somebody else. Oh my god, come on. Do I need to clean this? I'm just okay. using regular ammo. Come on. Express ammo and everything. Ugh. Hmm. I thought I just bought ammo. I could have sworn. Odd. That's a 
talk. Oh, I just learned about the Wapiti birds today. I would love to give that a go too after after all this. I I didn't know about that. That was my first time learning of it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely too bright for owls, the normal owl spawns at this point. So I guess I'm gonna head to Z, uh, see if it's accurate. If not, I suppose I'll camp and then just turn around and come back. Got more wolves? No, I think that was a cougar. Okay, yeah, please, please don't fall. I need to do more of those interactions. There are, are several that I have just never pursued this playthrough. One more. I just need to kill an owl. That's all. There we go. Good shit. I definitely didn't see that one on the approach. Glad I turned around and looked. <laughs> Amsel, I'm loving the fun animal facts. <laughs> so informative. <laughs> Fun fact, owls do not enjoy being hunted. If you don't know, now you know. I'm I'm definitely expecting another line of craftables to come up after I finish this one. I don't think that's the end of Survival Estate. Catch a fish that weighs at least 19 pounds. Well... I suppose... 
What's the best bet for that? Probably a musky or a lake sturgeon. Hmm. Oh. Well, for all the large fish, the normal rate is from 14 to 20 pounds. So I suppose I will just go to whatever's closest. I'm at the Z in West Elizabeth. And I need a large spawn fish. Uh... So musky, a lake sturgeon, a northern pike, a long nosed gar, and the channel catfish isn't real, but they actually put all that in the book anyway because they're trolls. Shit. Uh, I might go for a sturgeon. Give Mr. Peanut Butter a treat! You're apparently supposed to do some virtual hunting so you're gonna lurk. Okay, let me give this pup a treat. I'll be right back. Okay, I hope you're I hope you're here to see it. Here's Mr. Peanut Butter. Your friend Amsel's giving you a treat. Are you ready? I'm not even gonna make you do a trick for it. Come here. Alright. You're so cute. Here you go, from Amsel. Thank you, Amsel. Thank you. He's so cute. He's like, okay, I'm gonna go back to playing with my rope. Good luck with your hunting. I uh, will be doing some fishing myself, so. I'm glad all of today's tasks are enjoyable ones. And I can't believe that's the end of Survivalist 8. Kind of un unbelievable, honestly. I was expecting more. But I will not complain. I do know what Survivalist 10 is, though. And I think that is catching one of every kind of fish. <laughs> so, <laughs> gonna be doing a lot of traveling. That's okay. At least uh, it's not legendary fishing, which kills my hands. So those ones always put up a formidable fight. Hopefully I have good luck with this lake sturgeon. It, it's really kind of going to be a wild card on the, the weight I'm able to get. But, you know, my, maybe it'll be a once off. Maybe the first ca fish I catch will be over 19 pounds. Uh, I need to change clothes. He's telling me he's hot. Where are all my outfits going? I thought I had five equipped on the horse. Hey, 
Uh, is that a grizzly? Just keep going. Just keep going. if I just use the special lake lure. Shouldn't really have any problems getting it. It's just, will I be able to get one over 19 pounds quickly? Trampling all the animals. Got a couple right here. Good shit. I'm gonna go closer to the water though. I know it's you know smarter to fish from higher up, but you know, I like the scenery. And being closer to the water. Look at them all. Holy shit. Okay, we got the special lake lure. How's about this? And I'm gonna cross my fingers for one that is over 19 pounds right away. They're so close to the shore though. It's shouldn't be too difficult. God, it's 17 degrees right now. Holy shit. Yuck. Come on. Please be a big one! But not too big, I don't want to fight. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go! Oh, come on. Ugh. This is it. This is it. Whoa, what do we got? Hey. Let's fucking go. 19 pounds, 2 ounces. And we got a musky. Good shit. Um, Swim away, well, I guess I'll throw it back. Um... Please tell me I get a list of the fish, right? Uh, maybe if I put my rod away, it will show me. Please tell me I don't have to catch them in order. That can't be a thing. Right? Shit. I really hope not. It's gonna make me do this in a specific order. That's gonna be infinitely less fun. Got some. Oh my god. This one pulled out a lot of line. Too bad that musky didn't just count for the tenth challenge as well. That'd be too easy though. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. That is a fish. Oh, 
I wish I'd give you a, a detailed list. I guess I'm just gonna... Because I always regret it when I don't write things like this down. Because then I just get really confused. This poor pencil eraser. The few pencils I do have in this house all have a withered down to nothing eraser. This one is getting there. Okay, so I just got a musky. And then what else is available here, Owangila? That's where I'm at, right? Not Aurora. Yeah. What else is that, Owangila? Oh, it only tells me the big ones, lame. Uh, but I should be able to possibly catch some perch, some chain pickerel. I should probably switch to some of the food baits to get these little ones. Three point two percent left. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm making progress, slowly but surely. I'm almost. I'm. I'm making good progress on. Something is in the way of me casting here. Okay, just let me cast there a minute ago. That's odd. Let's see what's what down there. I'm doing Survivalist 10 right now, which is the last one, but I have to catch one of every species of fish. So. But there's only 15, and I've already caught one. So. I really. This probably can be done in like 30 or 40 minutes. Got a rock bass. Uh. I might switch to bread. See what I get here from that. Over here. You're all. Let's go. Yeah, you're all right. Perch. Nice I'll take it. I thought I saw some pickerel over there as well. Might do I have, do I have corn? Yes, yep. I got corn. I still think there are pickerel over there. Go for that. Please be a pick roll. All right. Ah, got it. Is that a red fin or chain? Chain pickerel. Sorry, but you're coming. Um. There's a possibility for trout here. Um. Don't know that I see any here though. Trout. Oh no, no trout here. Um. If 
I go to the river that feeds Owangila, I should be able to get a salmon though. This is where that cougar fucked me up the other day. <laughs> God. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. What a disaster. Come on. Okay, partner. weird noises but I think it's uh, just Jeremy talking to the dog Stay back. This here's official business. That's not what the uh, salmon says. want what anyway, just the river back. lure oh, I don't even have the normal one mm. Worth a shot. perhaps I should actually just use the special spinner uh, that actually might be better. Presumably this will work better. Uh, back up a little bit. Try and get the salmon here. So that's 5 of 15, doing pretty good, making good progress. Five more fish than you've ever caught in this game. How did you have played through this story without catching a single fish, Joe? <laughs> That's almost impressive. <laughs> you should, you should get an achievement for that. Uh, might switch to some inconsequential bait here and see if I get just something different. These uh, the smaller fish though aren't necessarily location specific. They just are specific to either like a river, a lake, a lake or a swamp. So it's like if I miss something here, it sh should be doable somewhere else. Except for those salmon. Those salmon are location specific. And this one was just the closest. Let's go. What I get? What I get? What I get? Something I don't have, please. Is that a bluegill? No, I think that's a rock bass. Yeah, that's a rock bass. I already got one of those. Uh, what did I use last time? I'm not even sure. I don't know if I put bread on or corn. Uh -huh. Yeah, the fish, these smaller fish are found basically everywhere. Here we go. If I didn't have to do it for a quest, I did not do it. <laughs> that's how you played it? Dude, that's totally fair. It's, uh, it, uh, it is honestly impressive though. Did you like, so the mission where you take uh, Jack fishing as Arthur, like early game, did you just not, not fish or something? Well, I think it, pro I think you have to like throw your line in, but I think you can get away with it without actually catching a fish. 
And then you just have to kind of sit there and pretend to fish, honestly. Okay, that looks like I'm all I'm getting in this little area here. Let's see what else I got. Crazy, thanks for the sub. Good to see ya. Thanks for that uh, Nicole wreck and the Nicole sub the other day. She has the voice of an absolute angel. Oh my god. I was just like totally taken aback. The mission reminds me of my uncle taking me fishing. Oh, the one with Jack. I really like that one. It's really cute. You may have fished there. That's the one that I can think of that's like a necessary story mission. There is another one where you go fishing with, I think it's Dutch and Hosea, but I think it's a side mission. I don't think you actually have to do that one. Especially where the fat stuff to question him <laughs> brings back the memories of the old uncle. Oh, good times, good times. Zero memories of catching a fish. It, it's believable, honestly. I, I do think that's one of the only missions where you have to go. You tell her the same thing, it's unreal. How did you find her? I saw that you're a mod in her chat. I was just like, what the? I don't normally watch music streams, full disclosure, but like, goddamn, she can sing. She's got some pipes. Where's the next like location specific fish? Don't have to worry about musky. Uh, I can go ahead and travel south to get some smallmouth bass it looks like. Looks like just south of strawberry in the river section here. Here we go boy. I'm on for Quisty. I'm not sure who that is. And she rated her about a year and I never left. <laughs> Those are the best kind of streams though, aren't they? Just kind of follow a group in and make yourself at home. And then suddenly they've got a tab on your computer that's never been closed out. Okay, I think the yeah markers up here. If you're just coming in, I'm working on Survivalist 10, uh, catching one of every kind of fish, and I've got five so far. So making, and I just started working on this about 10-15 minutes ago. So making pretty good progress. Not upset about it one bit. Not like those damn herons or the exotics. Almost lost my mind. Was it the okay? Yeah, smallmouth bass, and they like crickets. I don't have any crickets though, so I guess I'll just use the special. How's about this? There are fifteen different kinds of fish. Um, it's 
It's all of them, but the legendary ones. So like all the little small inconsequential fish, and then like the the medium sized fish. So the the salmon, the largemouth bass, the smallmouth bass, channel catfish, northern pike, lar lake sturgeon, muskie, steelhead trout, and long nose gar. So those ten like medium sized fish, and then like the the smaller inconsequential ones, like the chain pickerels, rock bass, bluegill. Perch. Which I got a couple of the small ones already. Yeah, 96.8. I'm making progress. Before you know it, I'm going to have Survivalist 10 done, and that should be another 0.3%. So putting me over the 97% mark, I'm very excited. This is. It's happening. It's happening, folks. I'm doing it. seeing any fish here. Maybe I'm too close to the waterfall. Or maybe I should just put my rod away and then take it back out. Good to see you, Black Swan. I uh, hope you're having a good Monday. Hopefully it reeks off to a good start. Exotics were really frustrating. Extremely frustrating. Especially because I ran into a glitch where one specific one was not spawning. This part of the is the tenth herbalist challenge is to collect all forty three herbs in the game. Which yeah, was Took a couple hours, admittedly, but then that last one that wouldn't spawn, that one exotic that would spawn because of the the glitch that made me go all the way through the exotics challenge before it would respawn. That that wasted me probably four, five, six hours. It was it was rough. Put your rod away. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did just say put your rod away. But then here I am taking it back out. I never learn. Okay, here's some fish. I'm not sure if this is what I'm looking for, but give it a go. Got some. That was quick. Went to a concert over the weekend. Hopefully that was fun. I haven't been to a concert in a long time. Dreading class this week. Understandable. Especially after a fun weekend. Oh, okay, it's a rock bass. I already have that. Great. I'm doing well. I'm happy to be playing Red Dead. It's kind of a long day, but... Is it just me or did like a ton of fish just spawn? The mysteries and secrets of Red Dead, you know? But yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be playing this. I didn't play at all over the weekend. I did play some Mario Kart over the weekend. I was having fun with that. Played my sister for a bit. I'm getting really close to 10,000 points online in <laughs> Mario Kart, which I've only hit that mark once before, and then I immediately lost it a and plummeted it in a big way. <laughs> like, I, I think I hit 10,000, and then I lost, like, 400 points. Just from like the degrad, because that was like around the time I was like grinding Mario Kart last winter, and then yeah, just the degradation of skill over time kind of got to me. Was getting I was getting placed in lobbies that, you know, with players with way too many points that were just kicking my ass every time. Pretty good way to lose points very quickly. Yeah, this is a small the smallmouth bass should be available here. I'm just uh not getting it so far. I think that's this middle sized one right here. But with the special spinner you don't really have too much control over over what's biting. That's the drawback of not having the specific baits. I gotta sneeze. I gotta sneeze. Pleased to meet you. Maybe I don't. 
I'm gonna try not to sneeze in the mic. <laughs> okay, got the small mouth. I do need to go get some more water though. Small mouth bass. Good shit. What else is nearby? Might go for the largemouth bass next. Which looks like it can be found. Actually, I'd have a much easier time probably going over here to get it. Even right here would probably be better. I haven't stopped by the bait store since I've been John, honestly, so... I am low on basically everything. Like, some of the foodstuffs I have, but the rest I'm pretty short on. Plummeted as I'm down at 1,000. <laughs> Amsel, I'm sorry, you will get that many points, man. I have so many hours in Mario Kart, that's why. You're excited to see the artist perform after being a fan for such a long time, but tall people kept pushing in front of me, so I was looking at the back of a guy's head for most of it. That is so depressing, man. Yeah. I, I honestly don't like standing room concerts. I... Just in old age, generally, like I definitely prefer <laughs> sitting down or, you know, like an outdoor venue where it's more of like a elevated amphitheater, like lawn style seating, where it's like, you know, if you can just get to a higher elevation, you don't really run into that problem as much. But, you know, you're quite a distance usually from the stage and the performance. That's awesome, though. Good for you. I, there's very few artists I think that I can think of that I would like to see that I haven't seen in concert. The first one that comes to mind is Mount Joy and I was actually looking at tickets. Uh, they're coming to my area in the, over the summer and tickets start at like $110 for crappy seats. I was like, what? <laughs> I, I guess I just haven't been to a concert in a really long time but I just don't remember it being quite that expensive for like just you know, general admission seats. But, and especially, like, Mount Joy, like, I don't know. And, you know, it's not like it's at, like, Red Rocks or something. It's just at, like, this local venue. Hey, Dolphins! How are you? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good Monday. You spent 120 for two tickets, so 60 bucks a piece. That's a lot more reasonable. The, yeah, the, the tickets I was looking at for Mount Joy... Yeah, they're definitely one of my favorite bands that I would love to see live. I've heard they put on a great show. Like, ideal situation would be seeing them at Red Rocks. That would be incredible. But, you know, I was like, they're coming to my area. Might as well check out tickets, see see what it is. No, general admission tickets <laughs> starting at $110. And I'm sure that's, you know, without service fees and taxes and all that. So... I mean, by the if I put one in a cart and then went to check out, I'm sure it would probably be 130 bucks for one ticket. It's crazy. You went to see a smaller artist at a tiny venue. Like the venue there, I'm kind of honestly surprised they didn't do like the big outdoor amphitheater that most large bands that come to this area use. But it, that's not what they're using. They're using like an indoor venue. And it's, it is mostly seated tickets, so, yeah. I guess if you can get away with charging that much, they are going to charge that much. You finally got Mario Kart today? Hell yeah, Dolphins! Let's fucking go! Have you played it at all yet? Are you, like, still installing? What's the sitch? We gotta play soon. Okay, so I'm looking for the largemouth bass here, and they like crayfish, which I think I actually have crayfish. Right? Yeah. 
I'm the same way at Chiefs games. People be standing for no damn reason. I just want to sit down and enjoy the game. I'm right there with you, crazy. Like, I, you know, I, I definitely remember being younger and, like, wanting to be on the floor and, like, you know, in the mosh pit and right by the band and, like, just experiencing the music right in front of the music. <laughs> I, I'm so over that now. I, give me, give me a seat kind of away from everything and I will be good. I alt tab because I heard Dolphins got Mario Kart. Let's plan a day. We we really should. We should uh maybe organize something in the vodka Discord. I know he's got that switch code channel. I think most everybody's pretty much in it. Sitting at games? You don't like you don't like sitting at games, dude? I only went to one Rams game while they were in St. Louis. And the guy I was dating had season tickets, and they were just right in front of the cheerleader. <laughs> so it was like, this is kind of awesome. I was like, this works. Haven't played much yet, been busy. I would love to get something on the books. That would be a good time. That was a, was that the large mouth that I just got? Yeah, because I just got the small mouth at the other place, so it had to have been. Large mouth bass. Um, just still missing a redfin pickerel, bullhead catfish, lake sturgeon, northern pike, long nosed gar, channel catfish, and a steelhead trout. Yeah. Your favorite soccer team is in England. St. Louis is getting a soccer team. I have no idea how that's going to go, though. Nah, man. Gotta stand, yell, and get into it the whole game. Hell, man. Give me the box seats at the Bush Stadium. I want the air conditioning. I want the open bar. <laughs> I want, you know, the free food buffet. I want all of that. That's where I'm at. Sometimes I'm just too drunk to stay in. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how you know you're having a good time. Oh, man. It's been a long time since I've been to a game, too. I'm sure the last game I went to was probably a cards game, though. Okay, so I should be able to get the trout just north of here, looks like. Yeah, if I go... Do I see any pickerel while I'm here? Yes, I do. I might try and grab... They like bread? Another one of these, because I need a redfin. Oh, you mean for football specifically? If you aren't trying to disrupt the offense, you're old. <laughs> okay, fair. Okay. They're way over there. I feel like something else is going to get this bait before the pickerels do. Give it a go. I don't think I tossed it far enough. Let's go. Yeah, you can come. I wish I would just list them like it did for the tomahawks uh, on the previous part of this challenge. And I wouldn't have to write all this stuff down. That'd be good. Okay, so I'm re I'm only looking for the large trout, gar, catfish, sturgeon, pike, and the bullhead catfish. So yeah, I I don't even need to get the the small inconsequential ones anymore. Just need to go a little farther up to this mouth of the river.
Went to a Royals game during the day and a Monday night Chiefs game and tailgated all day to the point they was cutting off alcohol as we was entering the stadium. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That sounds like a hell of a party. I need to get in on some KC games. Okay, this was for the... The trout? They like worms and I don't think I have worms, so... Maybe the special river lure? Just a guess. I wanna go to a Chiefs game but your brother would kill you. <laughs> oh shit, man. <laughs> Football rivalry goes that deep. Mm. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna go get a water really quick though. Use the bathroom. Alright. Going for a trout. Okay. Let's see what's what down there. Oh damn, that was a far cast. Probably either a trout or a bass. What do we got? Or a fish. Large mouth bass, okay.
I'm not sure which is which with the shadows. The highlights, rather. But both kinds are over here, so... Hopefully I'll get lucky. That seemed a little easy. Another large mouth bass, okay. The trout are here. They definitely seem to be two distinct types of fish though. What's going on here? Epilepsy warning? That was weird. Lucky you. Another. Lucky me. Maybe I should go like farther out. I mean, if anything, it kind of shows them more north of here. Uh, excuse me, why did you put your fishing pole away? Like, oh, I have my magnifying glass out. Why don't I just use that? Oh, no, I guess they are a bit south of the Bard's Crossing Bridge. I mean, there are other areas in the map that have them. I can always just go somewhere else. Another. It's my lucky day. Right, you're coming. I wonder if that is. Oh boy. Walk a little bit further south, see if I see another big group of larger fish. At least in that one area, it did seem that there were two distinct types of fish. Now, all of these highlights kind of look the same. Okay. Can always just go elsewhere. Which I, yeah, I'm not. Oh my gosh, I don't know why the, the camera perspective keeps shaking back and forth like that. It's really annoying. This is another bass. I'm just gonna pack it up and try somewhere else. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Um, 
What else is nearby? I might head north for the pike. Oh. Uh, just because those are probably the most out of the way. Out of the remaining kinds of fish that I have. Mm. I keep forgetting I have my, my magnifying glass. Kind of on this uh, area of Cumberland Falls, it looks like. Yeah. So if I head here. Oh, man. That's a ride. But hey, this is probably the farthest one, so that's okay. Make it work. Sun's about to come out. That's that will help things. You know I love you. Good horse. No one can stop us, eh? There's a boy. Good boy. also kind of a destination where I don't I don't even think fast traveling would really help me because yeah I'd still just have to probably go to Valentine and then snake my way down through that little river canyon anyway probably would take a very similar amount of time Get this northern pike out of the way. Then what? I think I think there's only five more after that. I think. Hey, fella. You okay? How are you? Yeah, I'm already in Valentine, so really don't think it would have been worth it to fast travel. So this is the the lengthy part. You can't really get around. Just sneak down all these little side trails into this canyon and follow along the river for a little while.
Oh, snap. Some of these little ledges are just so small. Now I need to change clothes. Okay. Of course. How are you? You okay? We're good, aren't we? Thank you. All right. Here we are. Special river lure should work. That's what's equipped. Okay, I think I've got one right here. Hopefully, that's what this is. I didn't really want to take that with me, but it's okay. I so will go for the lake sturgeon next. Yeah, because I got the musky. And then kind of in that same area is another spawn for trout. And then I'll have to head to the swamp for the gar. Uh, but the catfish. Oh, those are just in the swamps. Okay. Yeah, the two catfish are just in the swamps, so that's fine. So now I need to go to the northeast portion of Flatiron Lake. Kind of right in here. If I camp, can I travel to like flat next station maybe? Let's see. Fast travel. Gator fight's coming up. I looks like I'm headed to the swamps here in a minute, so better chance than not the way that I travel in the swamps, which is very carelessly. I was looking for is flatneck an option here? Of course not. That would be most desirable. Um, road.
Rhodes and Emerald Ranch are probably equidistant. I guess I'll go to Rhodes. Oh yeah, I'm always having <laughs> interesting gator encounters in the swamps. I just... I don't know, I usually get focused on whatever it is that I'm doing. Like last time I was looking for exotics and then I'm just chomped by the gators. Northeast part of Flatiron Lake. For first the lake sturgeon, and then hopefully some trout. Hopefully we'll have better luck with the trout here. Oh, you know what? I should have sold this goddamn fish. I didn't even mean to take it with me. Just kind of force of habit and button mashing. Sell this really quick. Otherwise it's gonna rot on my horse. Oh, actually I have that trinket that uh, makes everything stowed on your horse not rot. Oh my god. I think I've been more jump scared by gators on Red Dead than dead by daylight. <laughs> Dude, they're scary. Just like the throaty growl on them. Ooh, I don't like it. It's uh very disconcerting. I really just need to sell... I guess I'll get rid of some of this right now. The pike on the back of my horse is really what I was most concerned about, though. Okay, then. Keep the rest. All right, my boy. Okay. Okay, no more virtual hunting. I'm too high and couldn't follow a fox. <laughs> what were you hunting on? Was it Red Dead or was it something else? Hunter Call of the Wild. I haven't played that. I've seen it come up on Game Pass a couple times. Actually give it a go. I don't think it's on Game Pass right now, but... Or maybe it is. Hell. How's the hunting compared to Red Dead? I've honestly had people tell me that the hunting on Red Dead is better, but I haven't played it. I have no clue. Somehow I doubt it. Isn't that- it's like a slightly older game, isn't it? Like older than this one? Or am I tripping? I just made that up. No, maybe a year or two? Oh, okay. Well shit, maybe it is. I'll have to look. It's like two totally different styles of hunting. Oh my god, I just crossed the tracks without really looking, but I did hear the train. <laughs> I probably should be more cautious. <laughs> Almost got smoked by the train. Holy shit. Call the Wild is more like actual hunting and shooting. So I'm assuming there's even more of an element of patience in, in uh, Call the Wild. We, we know that I'm just an incredibly patient person when it comes to video games. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how I would fare. Uh, but you know, I'd be willing to give it a go. Just get drunk and do it. <laughs> I used to love like drinking and fishing in this game. I like drinking and doing the horse races. You get a dog to keep you busy. Hell yeah, that's my kind of game. Uh, I guess I want the special lake lure. Let's try this. Man, I don't really know if I'm gonna get to any of the weapons expert stuff today, but that's, that's okay. Why is this guy coming over here and scaring my fish? Row your boat somewhere else, sir. How inconsiderate. There's this huge lake, and he's gotta come right here where I casted my line. Reminds me of like actual people when I go kayaking sometimes. <laughs> there was this drunk couple in a canoe on this uh, lake that I usually go to and they absolutely like ran their canoe into my kayak on this massive lake where you know they just really could have been paddling anywhere else and like it was totally fine totally calm conditions they ran their canoe into my kayak but they were very clearly intoxicated so just got on with my life Better than drinking and hunting in real life. Yeah, that's that sounds very unsafe. I'm really not getting any hits here. It looked like there were a couple a couple sturgeons here. Okay. Oh, it looked like that one might have been coming for it and changed its mind. Honestly surprised I'm not getting a hit. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Good shit. Oh man. It's definitely farther out than I want it to be. Damn. Get tired. Get tired before I get tired. Please. Don't fight it. Stupid line. God damn it. Damn. <sighs> I was a little too zealous. Uh, right now I'm trying to get the lake sturgeon. And then we're gonna move to the east here a bit and then go for the trout because I didn't have any luck near Bard's Crossing with the trout. I just got like six bass in a row, so decided to change locations. Okay, that's significantly closer. Come on. Don't be an asshole. You got a spear sturgeon like on Lake Winnipeg. Oh god. I'm gonna catch this fish. I'm gonna do it. Give it up already. 
Yeah. What John said. Come on. Do not. Oh my god, my hands are getting tired. Okay. Shit. Wow. Throw it back. Great, great, great. Making progress. Uh, still need to get this trout, though. Looks like uh, a little more east. Just the ticket for the trout, though. Let me see, let me see. Yeah. Kind of like right in here, maybe. That's my sure-footed steed. Alright, what do we need for the trout? Oh, we have worms, but I don't have worms. Uh, I might just go with the special spinner. And look, here, we've got another boater. Coming to interfere with my fishing. As long as I don't get like another sturgeon on the line or something. I go out to that rock there. What do we got? Too small. We made it last. Yeah, that's the problem with the special spinner is you just you really kind of get everything. Oh, okay. Nope, that's. I went down a rabbit hole about reading about sharks in the Mississippi River. That is a thing. I was reading about uh, the freshwater jellyfish that they're finding all over Missouri now a couple days ago. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, that's terrifying. I just got stung by a jellyfish for the first time recently, like within the past year. It was very unpleasant. And it wasn't even a big one. It was a really small one. It was like a baby one. It said that the freshwater ones do sting, but it's more of like a like a small like itching sensation rather than like a full on allergic reaction. What did you do? Kick it? It got like stuck. I had on uh, Tevas, and it got stuck in my in my sandal. I was just like walking along the shore. We were just kind of looking for like shells and other cool stuff, like just right, right in the tide. And we were in this on like the rocky part of the bay. And I, it was, it was March, and it was uh, 
kind of near like Pensacola area. So like the water was still pretty cold. So like we were seeing a ton of jellyfish and I didn't even realize like how saturated the area actually was with like the little bitty baby jellies, which don't even really have like a physical form yet. They really are just like a gelatinous goo. So it's very hard to see the little ones because they just are really just kind of swaying in, in the tide. There's, they have no form to them at all. Here I go again with the bass. I mean, those, those all kind of look like bass to me. Maybe I'll go further down. It looks like... Yeah, they're kind of like found all between here and in between that island. They called my ex largemouth cast on account of the vast numbers of dicks she could fit in her mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just full of zoological facts and like ex wife, ex girlfriend jokes. God damn, Amsel. Holy hell. Large mouth cats. Hopefully, this is a better spot. I'm kind of running out of patience on the trout. I don't know, man. It's like, if it's not here, where? I always suppose that I could just go get worms. That'll definitely uh, decrease the likelihood of me reeling in a bass instead of a trout. Feel small. Yeah. And look, another boater. It's like every time I put my line in, they're here. Spotting more mountain lions in Missouri as well. I saw that they, like, one in, like, Franklin County just got hit by a car. That's terrifying. Oof. It looks huge. Like, it look, it's a massive animal. Okay, there are a ton of fish here. There's gotta be a trout. Come on. I remember coming here for like the online daily challenges to get trout. Oh, I'm having so much trouble. This might be one. It might be, it might be, it might be. It's bass! Can't contain my excitement. Like, I definitely think I see two distinct types of medium fish here. Yeah, I think the the ones really close to me right now are trout. Oh shit. Come on. I'm gonna fish every fucking bass out of this fucking lake before I get a trout. There are definitely two types of fish here. Come on. Is 
This feels different on the line. Why well, should be another bass anyway, though? Oh, it's a bass. Can't contain my excitement. After being attacked a hundred times on Red Dead 2, I'd probably piss myself if I saw a mountain lion crossing the street in real life. They're they're such large animals. Like they're so intimidating. I would definitely not want to run into one. I'd be I'd be a lot more scared of that than like a black bear. Even those uh garbage bears that like aren't afraid of people. I'd way rather run into one of those. I'm gonna get every bass in this lake before I get a trout. So annoying. This is a, this is a small fish. Got you, partner. I'm almost like, do I just go get worms? Like, is there something else that I can switch to? I like I don't know what the backup here is because. Yeah, I'm catching whatever I use is also going to be preferred by the largemouth bass. So unless I went and specifically got worms, like, there's really no luck here. Come on. I'm like sure that I see them here though. There certainly appears to be two different types of fish. I, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to. This is getting frustrating. Or if I like found a territory where trout and the largemouth don't overlap, but that's probably less likely. Um. Actually, down at the southern tip of Rhodes, it looks like the largemouth bass are not there. Yeah, it's it's in like the Graw. I have to go to the swamp anyway, so I guess I'll just try this place. If it doesn't have it, I'll probably... I, I do think you can fast travel to the Graw. Probably go there. To the bait shop, then go to the swamps, then go back to the trout area. I think that's all I'm missing at this point, right? Right, right? Oh god, don't get smoked by the tree. Yeah, so the two catfish, the trout. Bullhead catfish. Oh, and the long nose gar is also in the swamp. So besides the trout, the other three are in the swamp. I remember that you're as useless as a four card plush line from Red Dead Redemption 1. Which is shocking because I remember so very little from that game. Like, so very little specifics. There's, it's also used in the story in Red Dead Redemption 2 at some point as well. And then, yeah, it's just like an NPC line. Can't wait for you to say that one during Poker Night. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm full of insults, man. Definitely gonna whip that one out of my back pocket. You're as useless as a four card flush.
You've never played the story mode of Red Dead Redemption 2, Grace? You are breaking my heart. What? Oh my god. Like, is there a reason? Are you like morally opposed to doing it or something? I did not absolutely berate you last time. I may have gotten a little snarky. I was not, I wasn't berating you. Oh, um here has two M's because it's a blinking one. Yeah, I, I need to know why, crazy. That's that's kind of wild. And after all this time, and I have so much like so much time in online of this game. Apologies for being an emo boomer. Yet. It's kind of a weird one. I think most people usually do have just the UHM, or at least uh, you know change the moniker for it to the UHM. Yeah, if you compare our achievements, not even one for the story. <laughs> oh my god. That's wild. Do you have any plans of playing it, or it's just not something that appeals to you? Like, do you are you somebody that like doesn't normally play the story of games like this? Are you really just kind of an online mode person? Oh my god, I, that was like one of the worst casts of my life. Let's try again. Oh man. Like that might be a trout out there. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna reel in a ton of smaller fish. Just an online player, that's fair. The story is so good though. Really one of the best out there. This is a small one. Man, I might just have to go get those worms. This is a bummer. Uh, oh, over here. I'm okay. Let me recast with also a. Uh, where am I at? I guess maybe the the river one here. It's kind of an odd spot. Yeah, you're all Try again with the special river, and then if I am fruitless once again, I'm just going to go to the raw and get the worms. Try this really quick. Might as well. Give it a shot. Okay, these are definitely trout. Come on. I was gonna say, I was like, if this is a bass, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. Okay. Now to the swamp. Let's see what I can get first. Um. Really, the long nose gar is kind of just here by seeing the knee, it looks like. Um. I should be able to find it anywhere kind of right in here. Oh, 
Only three more, right? Yeah. Good. Good, 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 good. I guess that'll be a good stopping point for today. And that just leaves me with the weapons expert challenge, but I'm only about halfway through that. And while the remainder of those look fun, some of them certainly okay. seem challenging. Like, like I said, watching me try and kill a grizzly bear with only throwing knives without dying. Well, it'll, surely it will at least be entertaining. I don't see it going well, but. But I, I do remember looking through them and I was like, okay, these all seem fun and, and manageable. It's just, yeah, that's going to be quite the climax to these challenges. Killing a grizzly bear with throwing knives. Oh no, I hate riding through here. All the gators and the horse gets spooked on the bridge. Ugh. Oh yeah, here we go, yeah. Don't throw me off. Do not throw me off. Right, we gotta go around. We gotta find a different way. The horse is too much of a little bitch. I knew that was coming. Um, I gotta go around Shady Bell though because I think it's still a gang hideout right now. I don't know if I just need to clear it or if it just remains one. Okay, you come on. horse. Gotta go around. Good boy. You were in a stream a few months back and I started playing the first playthrough on Red Dead. We're okay. <laughs> I mean you, I mean as an online player you probably still have tips like if you're wanting to do like a raw playthrough like not knowing anything like I guess yeah but you were probably offering like quality of life improvements like I was watching Born Wolf play the story over the weekend which yeah I also love watching people experience this game for the first time like I it's still fun to me to watch people play the story mode even though you know I'm balls in it myself balls deep in it myself I just I, I love it. So like I was watching Born Wolf, Born Wolf do her first playthrough over the weekend, and you know, I, like without telling her any actual hints or like anything like that, you know, I'm still like, oh, like have you been to a gunsmith? There's one in Valentine. Like think about stopping by the gunsmith. Like those kind of things. Like just just general quality of life things, like how to season the meat you're cooking basic stuff but yeah I guess if you're really wanting no help whatsoever then yeah I guess I guess even stuff like that would be unwelcome I don't know why you'd want to play cause, I mean there's just so much to know this, this is not a game that you know I respect people that like don't you know don't want to look up any kind of hints especially for a first playthrough it's like that is kind of the way to play it like you don't want to work through this game like you know just going treasure map with like all the treasure map pointers and stuff like that like that's it's not super fun you know that's then you turn into more of a checklist like like I have for my second playthrough but yeah it's my second playthrough oh no I oh god uh I need to reset the cast yeah I suggested something that would help them yeah I <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, there's just so much to know. There's so much to know. What do I want? So I still want the swamp lure, it looks like. Okay. 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 
Add some pretty close to me. Hopefully we'll get one. Yeah, I, I would never like give spoilers or even directions or anything like that. that yeah, that's no fun. But Why is my horse coming up on behind me like that? That's weird. Oh, they were coming for it. Damn. They just weren't fast enough. Oh my god, that was so far away. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I just I can't imagine being a brand new player to this game anymore. That there is so much to it. Got some. Come on. Two more after this, though. Pretty good. Come on. The channel catfish and the bullhead catfish. Like here. Not too far. Oh dear, oh dear. Easy now. Couldn't do it without you, boy. What a boy you are. Hey, boy. There's a boy. It's all right. This was just a snake. Oh dear. Don't go in the water. Oh man. God, when those gators. Ugh. 
so scary. No, thank you. Okay. I had to make sure that wasn't a gator sneaking up behind me. <laughs> I don't think so, though. Okay, so, yeah, I think I just stick with this. Legendary gator spawns in. I, thankfully, I already killed that. I actually got the legendary animals done pretty early in this playthrough. I was really excited to do them again. The legendary fish and the legendary animals are some of my favorite content in the game. Come on. I'm gonna have to see what bait for the other the bullhead catfish. Yeah, they're they only spawn once during the story. And you have to be like on the hunt for them, so you have to like look for the clues for them to spawn in. Except for the the gator one is actually mission associated, so it does spawn for the one of the missions, like in the story mode, and then it spawns again when you like go and finally kill it on your own. Channel catfish. Uh I'm gonna throw that. That is a huge catfish. Oh, is it dead? That's sad. It's not even gonna, not even gonna swim away. <laughs> um. Okay, so one more. One more. Well, I feel bad. So that was the channel catfish. I need the bullhead catfish. Uh, it likes corn. Do I see whiskers on those? I don't know. I'll try. Yep. Otherwise I might need to go deeper into the swamp. Looks like it's playing in the water. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine. It's having a great time. That's a lot of food. Thrown back in the lake. <gasps> Do not fall. John can't swim. Okay, I don't know if these are catfish or not. I really can't tell. They're kind of far away. It's about the right size, but usually the little whiskers on them are a bit more distinct. At least the bait they like is something that I already have on my person. Alright. Please be it. Please be it. Bullheads are just smaller catfish. Pickerel. There is a gator watching me. Oh, the gator in the water, I hope. There's not one behind me now, is there? Okay, I was worried one just kind of like creeped up on me while I was doing all this. I really can't tell what those medium ones are or aren't. Try again with the corn, I guess. I, those don't look like it. There are some out in the middle, though, that might be it. I might have to go deeper into the swamp, like over by Lakay. Move more to the left. Like from where I'm standing, cast more to the left or like actually go down river to the left. He's okay. goddamn. So where I'm standing, cast to the left. 
this corn bait on. I walked out more. Pass the tree. <gasps> no, because you want me to go to the gators. <laughs> Fuck you, crazy. God damn you. <laughs> Holy shit. That's not even a catfish. Damn. You almost got me, man. I was like, okay, yeah, here, go down river. To the channel catfish. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Um. Yeah, maybe by La Kay. That's what I'm thinking. That's more of like the traditional swamp area. Oh, they're friendly gators. Oh, surely. These ones would be just delighted to have me standing right next to them. They surely wouldn't eat me. I've been gator food one too many times. Good boy. They're so scary in the dark when their eyes glow red. Ugh. It's terrifying. No, oh, thank you. I'm just thinking up here because like this is kind of where the online okay. uh, swamp fishing challenge is and I know that I see the the bullhead up here normally well in the online mode so hopefully <laughs> upset because I have all them teeth but no toothbrush <laughs> shit Get them a dentist appointment at 2.30. Okay, I don't see any gators here. I might pull over and, and try my luck. No, I'm not the pirate sword. As an employee of a zoo, I can confirm this. Get those gators some toothbrushes. Dental hygiene is imperative. Okay, no, I hear a gator. I definitely hear a gator. I hear several gators, but I don't see them. It's gonna like pop out of the water and eat me. Okay, there's one over there. Okay, there's one like in front of that tree. This is your favorite because so many legendaries spawn in. God. The noises are terrifying. Oh man, it's so hard to tell. I'm about to just Google it. I wish I had gators visiting my door in the morning like the ducks do. Those snaps are so cute, Amsel. Why, why are you guys trying to make them come inside though? Like just for fun. Zuko! Hey, how's it going? Hello, Raiders. How was your stream? What were you doing? Not gaming, I'm assuming. That was only a halfway dig. Your stream is so entertaining. I was gushing about you the other day. <laughs> Don't people leave! Those are bullheads straight in front of me. Okay, I'm gonna believe you and cast in with the corn. Hopefully I get one. We don't, they choose to walk in our office for the food. Oh my God, that's so cute. That's adorable. Not gaming, unfortunately. The improv you were doing yesterday was fun. I was having a blast. Especially making jokes about academics. Easy crowd to make fun of. What are you, what are you talking about, Amsel? Those aren't, those are definitely not catfish. Over there by the gar, like here, 
right to my north or like uh, northwest? You'd walk out for a better cast? I don't think so, crazy. I'm not falling for it again. <laughs> I will not listen to you. <laughs> Absolutely not. Academics, am I right? Yeah, that's easy, easy group to make fun of. Right by the sturgeon, fam. Okay. Those small fish are bullheads? Okay. I'm gonna believe you. I just need one more fish and then I'm done with what is it? Uh, survival is 10. Listen, one of us grew up in a frozen tundra and had to forage for food. <laughs> this is something. <laughs> You're okay. Let's go! Awesome! Good shit. That's survivalist. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna go get the rest of my equipment at the rein uh, my reinforced equipment at the trapper. Cause that should be an extra 0.3%. So I should definitely be at 97% now. But it might be an additional uh, tenth of a percent if uh, the reinforced equipment boosts one of my meters. So my stamina, that because that's also part of completion, is getting your stamina, your dead eye, and your health cores up to 100. And my stamina one got maxed out some sometime last week. I'm definitely not going to the Trapper in San Denis because I hate that place. It's such a clusterfuck in that little market. No one can stop us, eh? Yeah, thanks, Amsel. That was good call. Because I was going to Google it. And Zuko is probably going to type that court after being stuck for five minutes in Red Dead emote. Just, just a typing emote. And I hammer on my Black Widow Ultimate <laughs> green switch keyboard. Oh, I'm excited. This is great. Oh! Nope. Go right. this way. No one can stop us, okay? All right. Who's a good boy? How about this? I can't believe I have one challenge left. Hey. It's it's gonna be an interesting one. Should at least be entertaining to watch, though. Okay. So that's where I'll pick up tomorrow. Hey. And after the challenges, all I have are... Well, I need to complete the cigarette cards. There's so many left. But I mean, that's really just gonna be kinda like traveling through the map. And then visiting all the grave sites. And then I'll be done. Unbelievably. Like 150 plus hours later. I don't know, I kind of want to look at the Xbox achievements after all this is over. Because I know, like, just... What? I know just looking at, like, the sum total, I think I have, like, 750 out of 1,000. So I'm curious as to what I'm missing there. Some of them I know are just, like, damn near impossible. Like, doing... Like, earning, like, 70 gold, gold medals on missions. Like, I don't... 
I don't think I have that in me. Like, I really love this game, and I'm, like, down to grind some more achievement-based stuff out, but... 70 gold medals? That's a little insane. Then I'm, like, getting into speedrunner territory. I might as well just take up Mario 64. Almost caught up to me on story mode. <laughs> oh, shit. See what we got. I'm gonna sell him some of this stuff just to get rid of it. And then I'm gonna buy that reinforced equipment and save and see where I'm at. Can definitely sell okay. this. And I'll hang on to those and those. But then I wanna okay, oh no, I wanna buy. Thanks. So long. Buy with Y. Reinforced equipment? I just finished survivalist. Kind of ugly, but it may have given me the boost I needed. So the weapons expert one is the only one that I haven't finished because yeah, I haven't made it all the way through my challenges yet. Not that one. Did it give me a boost? Yes, I permanently increased my dead eye bar by one tank. Let's fucking go. Yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Perfect. Survival sentence complete. I need to pick back up on weapons expert. So zero to five. Tomorrow, let me save and see where I'm at. Oh, no. Story. Save. The moment of truth. 97.2. Let's fucking go, dude. Holy shit. Man, that feels good. And then, yeah, finishing Weapons Expert will bring me up to 97.5. And that's, that's so close. I'm so close to being done. I mean, this is this has definitely been a blast, though. And But it, it's also nice to, like, finish the evenings now and feel like I'm making progress. And have measurable progress. So. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get off, though. Um, is anybody else streaming still? Pando's playing Mario 64? Maybe we should stop by and say hello to Pando again? He's the only person that's live on my- oh, Nate is also live, but I probably shouldn't drop people off there because he's probably breaking TOS like he normally is. <laughs> oh no, it says he's playing Marvels on stream? That might also just be a lie. I'm not sure. Thanks for hanging out, guys! I will see you again tomorrow. Uh, yeah, resuming with the Weapons Expert Challenge. It's been a fun one, though. I am glad to be making measurable progress, like I said. Holy moly. We'll go say hi to Pando. Uh, good to see you all. Good night.